Michelangelo. Hey, Tony, if you're selling beef, why'd you want a dairy cow? Because tits sell. Here, here's your pay. I gave you an extra ten. You'll have a great time at Trout Camp. Now, give me a little more yellow in that hat, though. Huh? You got it. All right, have a good night. Good night, Michelangelo. Dexter, you little prick. Your ass is grass. Thanks, Mr. Mulligan. You're welcome, Tim. Don't let it get you down. I was bullied when I was your age. Really? Oh, yeah. I've had hair like this since I was 11 years old. The older boys used to paint nipples on my head and make me dress like a girl. But you have a bright future ahead of you, son. That little turd will be lucky if he can get a job scraping chewing gum off the floor of an adult bookstore. But if there's one thing I've learned in life, you pay close attention. Avoid homeroom like the plague. Look, I know why I'm here, okay? And in my own defense, she deserved to be called a castrating bitch. Sometimes these freshman girls... Warren! That's not why you're here. Unfortunately, with the budget cuts, there's a chance they may need to let go of a guidance counselor next year. I'm sure Janet will land on her feet. I'm not talking about Janet. I'm not following. Warren! You may lose your job. What? But I've been here longer. It's not about seniority anymore. The school board is taking a closer look at job performance. Assholes. Part of their evaluation is based on the percentages of kids that you helped to get into college this year. Well, I am absolutely kicking ass there. <laughs> well, your numbers have fallen. With just a few weeks left in the school year, Janet is up by one student. That's impossible. Janet stinks. I guess you haven't heard that instead of college, Brian Young has decided to go out to defend our country. That selfish little prick. And there's Tommy Brewer and Ricky Collins. I got them into pit. Their car hits a tree. They're going to be in the hospital for a year, and I have to suffer? Come on. It's not me. It's the numbers. Well, Tom, this is my school. 
These are my kids. I mean, there has to be something I can do. Warren, it's fourth and long, and you're down by six with one minute left. You have to be Terry Bradshaw and throw a Hail Mary into the end zone. You fucker. All my hard work to get you in a slippery rock and you pull this shit right before school's out? I hope you know your goddamn stunt's gonna have me living in my car and eating cat food. After praying with my parents and my pastor, I decided it's best if I join the army. Hey, Jane, we say pants. You pussy. We will be having a Laura! Hi! Congratulations, I hear Miss Phillips finally got that scholarship to Beaver College for shot put. Lacrosse. Yeah, actually. that's not important. The important thing is college is not for everyone. A girl like you might be better suited for the Peace Corps. The Peace Corps doesn't ask you to do annoying things like wear a bra, shave under your arms. Think about it. Shh. Although Beaver is perfect for her. Juvie. Drop out, retard. Hmm. Danny Whitaker. Not a complete waste of life. <laughs> Frank! Hey, Warren Mulligan over here at Grandview. How goes it? Good, buddy. Listen, I'm sorry about that kid dropping out last minute, uh, but I got the perfect replacement. Waiting list. That slippery rock? I mean, come on, Frank. Can't you just white out that kid's name and put in this new guy? All right, look, Frank, I need a favor. I, I, I gotta get this kid in, okay? I could lose my job, for Christ's sakes. Am I in trouble or something? Not at all. Matter of fact, every time I walk into the supermarket to grab a couple of yams and some baby oil, I see one of your murals. I feel like I'm walking into the Guggenheim. Wow. Thanks. Big plans for the weekend? Uh, um, no, no, not really. So you're not going to the woods for trout cans? Oh, um, you know, I'm not really sure. I got it. I wouldn't have told my counselor either. But I know that this weekend you're gonna be in the woods with your friends, you're gonna get drunk, you're gonna party. Uh, look, I really don't. And then you're gonna look for this mysterious group of girls who swims naked. Goddess camp? Here's my advice. Don't do it. Yeah, I understand why it sounds like a lot of fun. But before you know it, you're gonna be lost in the woods, drunk by yourself, Dreaming of a goddess who doesn't exist, masturbating in a poison ivy bush. And there's nothing more humiliating than your mother dabbing calamine lotion onto your grapefruit-sized testicles. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can laugh about it now. <laughs> I mean, you guys actually thought that was real? It's an urban myth. Yeah, no shit. Want to see titties? You go to the Oasis on Route 8. Pretend you don't know me. <laughs> Seriously, Dan. What are your plans after graduation? I'm thinking I'll just hang out with my friends this summer and then look for a job. What if I get you into college? College? I mean, that didn't apply to anyone. Doesn't matter. I got a friend over at Slippery Rock who would love to meet with you on Monday. Yeah, I don't think college is really my thing. Danny, college is awesome. It was the best six years of my life. I thought I was Henry Miller, for Christ's sake. I'd sit around naked, smoking in my dorm, Dreaming about banging Anais Nin? I don't know who she is. She was an author, Cuban and French, kind of like a cigar made out of ham. Doesn't matter, she's dead now. Point is, she was fucking hot. That's really great. Yeah. It's 1984, Danny. You're gonna need a college education to get any kind of a real job. All right, I mean, what would I even major in? Who gives a shit? It's a chance to get out of this town and do something with your life. Here, give this to you. I'm sure they'll agree with me. They can call me anytime, day or night, with any questions they have. You're a bright kid. It's time for you to start dreaming. Ah, bonjour, Daniel. Bonjour, ma'am. Honey, can we stop with the French for German and Irish for crying out loud? I'm just practicing. Next year is our 25th anniversary, and you promised to take me to Paris since we had to skip our honeymoon. Yeah, well, that was Pete's fault. <laughs> <laughs> you were very worth it, honey. Okay. Uh, say boo. Your dad needs to get to work. Oh, yeah? Why is he going to work now? They need some extra help with the plant. Honey, dinner. For you, Danielle. 
making out with your gay friends? You know what, Peter? If you moved out, are you still hanging around here like some kind of loser boomerang? Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to Sloppy Joe now? It's Coco Van. Aw, oh, jeez. It's chicken with onions and mushrooms in a wine sauce. Now, why are you so late, Danny? Uh, Mr. Mulligan, my guidance counselor, wanted to meet with me. He says he can get me into Slippery Rock. He uh, wants me to meet up with uh, some guy from there on Monday. What? Well, Mr. Mulligan thinks I need to go to college to get a job. You don't need college to get a job. Yeah, I know. It's just he thinks that it's, you know... No, nah, no. Nah, you know, at college, it's a waste of four years. Plus, it's a lot of money. So you know what? Tell him you can stop filling your head with those crazy thoughts. Bruce, I think that now is the time for you to tell Danny your news. I got you a job at the plant. What? I thought, I thought they weren't hiring. <laughs> they weren't. I got you in. <laughs> Straight bien, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm still in high school. No, it's part-time until you graduate. And, and... Nine bucks an hour. Nine bucks? I started at seven. Well, he's actually going to graduate high school. Nine bucks, huh? Let's see Mr. Mulligan make that kind of money. So, Sunday, you'll come down, I'll show you around, right? Sunday, he is going to be face down in a puddle of puke. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Trout camp weekend. So what? He's not going to trout camp? Yeah, he's going to paint Todd's grandfather's barn in Pleasantville this weekend. It's been on the calendar for weeks. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. All right, you know what? Your brother isn't like you. He doesn't gamble with his future, all right? He knows Bridgetown would never hire a kid who got busted for underage drinking, right? Right? Yeah, I know, Dad, and I'm not. I'm not going to trout camp. Trout camp's gonna be awesome! Legendary! <laughs> and I just hope I can go. Oh, dude, you're going. You gotta go, you're a ride. I told you a thousand times, pot doesn't do anything to me. Pot chick. Up yours, Phil. When I find Goddess Camp, I'm not telling you. You don't waste your time, man. Just wind up walking through the woods with poison ivy on your balls. Oh, <laughs> but I have a secret weapon. My cousin's map shows all the places he searched back since the sighting in 79. Oh, yeah? Nope. While you guys are looking for make-believe poontang, I'll be banging the real thing. Yeah, right. Dream on. Hey, it's safe time for me, dick weeds. Guess what my Uncle Randy brought back from his business trip in Japan? Gonorrhea? Did win. A freaking Sony Discman! Oh, <laughs> yeah, you oh, dreams won't be able to get one of these for you. All right. What about these in Rolling Stone? CDs these... <laughs> are just a fad, all right? Vinyls forever. Yeah, says the DJ from the Honky Tonk Station. Oh, shit! <laughs> Paying my dues there, but for the record, it's classic country. Yeah, for the record, it's just background music for truckers getting laid. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Danny, that's cool. What is that, dude? Oh, thanks. It's the uh, Cars Next Album cover. I just don't know it yet. Nice. Yo, dude. Pop up pass. Hey, why don't you let Danny hit it? He seems a little stressed. Hey, it's a no-brainer. If you got a ticket to Slippery Rock, take it. I don't know, man. My dad seems to freak out. Take the job. Nine bucks an hour is great, though. Yeah, so stay here forever and reek of cobalt like his idiot brother. If I wasn't already accepted to the Columbia School of Broadcasting, I mean, I'd ask his old man for a job. Okay, you weren't accepted. They accept anybody who sends a check. <laughs> what the hell up, Wachowski? <laughs> It's all right, guys, I'll figure it out. Come on, guys, stand up. The titties! Trees! Trees! And trout! Allons-y. Allons-y. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Why do I smell skunk? Do you smell skunk? Oh, I ran over a dead skunk or something. You know what? I should probably go take a shower. Uh, hold on. Come here, please. Look at what your father brought home. I tried on. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, oh, it fits you perfectly. We don't have the special order like your brother's. Huge head. Here, shut this off. Oh, oh, Trip. Oh, <gasps> Bruce, look what? how handsome you look. Yeah.
A woman can be stiff when on love intent. But love has pitched his mansion in the place of excrement. For nothing can be soul or whole that has not been rent. What did Yates mean when he said pitched his mansion? Anyone? Anyone, 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 anyone listening to me? Not at all. Can you hear me back there? Oh, okay. Uh, listen, I, I, I know you're going camping this weekend, kids. And I, I've read about what happens there. Please, protect yourselves. No, no drinking or smoking or partying. Catch a fish for crying out loud. Or crabs. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. That's a serious condition. The Gaming Commission said you could win $500 for catching the biggest trout. 500 bucks is a lot of money. The more interest in smell the fish than catching them. Uh, what's more important, Miss Keys? The lengths or the girth? It's an inappropriate question, young man. Girth. Oh, hey, Adrian. Skanky Eye. Up yours, dork. How's it going? Actually, totally awesome. They just accepted me into the Barbison School of Modeling. <laughs> <laughs> they said I'm clearly very fashion forward and I show a lot of promise. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it's really great. You know? um, should we be at Draft Camp this weekend? Um, yeah, but you know I'm dating Bobby now. It's kind of hard to miss with you two making out in shop class. Oh, you know, no, it's fine. You know, Bobby's a great guy. Yeah, speaking of great guys, you know, Danny is going to Slippery Rock in the fall. You? Um. The only book I've ever seen you open is your sketchbook for your little doodles. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, you know, it's not really, like, finalized and all that yet. It just it's... happened really fast, you know. Huh. Well, good for you. Maybe I will see you at Trout Camp. Maybe you won't. God, why do you talk to that Shut kid? Shut <laughs> Don't let up where we're setting up camp. I thought you wanted to camp near them. Yeah, we don't want them to know that. Oh. Hey. hey. Shelly. So, uh, where are you setting up this year? Um, not sure. Oh, we're gonna try Pyramid's Bend. Us too. Oh, it's a killer spot. Close to Camp Grande, and I hear they got 10 cakes. Cool. So I'll uh, see you there then. I guess so. What the hell? Sorry, I panicked. It's cool. We got what we needed. Fighting courage to the core. Rock pride is mounting. SRU forevermore. That is the Slippery Rock theme song. Wow. <laughs> now, Danny, you do have to have an essay ready by Monday morning. Oh, I, I do. Yeah, nothing major. Just some crap about perseverance, personal struggles, overcoming the odds. They get shit up. Ah, crowd camp. How about this? I'll whip up something so sad, they'll read it and cry like they got their dicks caught in the escalator. Thank you so much, Mr. Mulligan. That's awesome. What do your parents think? Uh, you know, they're a little bit... I understand. There's a lot of questions. I'll take care of them, too. Okay. I'll see you Monday and try not to get into too much trouble. Okay. <laughs> Don't be fresh. Team is fighting. That guy is a freak as a Trout camp, fuckers! <laughs> <laughs> Listening to Phil from the Hill, and that'll do it for us. Don't forget tomorrow's the Merle Haggard Marathon, and thank you for listening to Oil City's Classic Country. <laughs> Let's just make sure he gets back before Family Feud starts. Come on, move it. Get your wine cooler and your porn and get out. All right, you're up. I'll get you next time. That's what you said last time. I'm a little short this month, okay? Oh, uh, boy. All right, what do I owe you? Hold on. All right, I'm going to get two of these and a box of these. Yeah. It's tradition. What? Tradition. You're making up tradition. No, I'm not. Every time I pay, you make up a tradition. No, I'm not. Oh. 
What's going on? Why this? Oh, uh, we're out of quarters and dimes. Who cares? It's money. Let's get going. I want to get out there before those piss ends take the best spots. Well, at least you take the box. Oh, uh, you know my sciatica. It's kind of it's my sciatica, my everything, my bag. Shut up. Mom likes me best. Yeah. Okay. Anything else, Grandpa? Okay, I guess that'll do it. Wait a minute. The old man didn't say a word. <laughs> That's because the Japs ripped out his vocal cords with a bayonet at the Battle of the Bulge. He drinks to forget about it, but thanks for bringing it up. Hey, wait a minute. The Battle of the Bulge was in Europe. You want to tell him that? Thank you for your service. Grandpa just got us beer, and he doesn't know what year it is. Okay, always great hanging out with you, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Grandpa. All right. We'll see you next time, Grandpa. That's what I thought. You see that? Oh my God, who farted? Not me. Oh, oh. I, I think Grandpa crop dusted. It's getting stronger. I did my mouth. Window. Window. No. Oh. Why are we parked so far away? You want me to park out here and use the back door? Okay. Danny, I need you to come with me. Just to hang out with your older brother. You might give us a better deal, all right? I don't even know why we need weed. It's habit forming, you know? I don't want to see you go down that path. Shut up, dude. No! God! Who's this Hector? Relax, man. It's Pete Whitaker's brother, Danny. Be an asshole like his brother? Just let us inside. I want to show Danny your doll collection. Fuck you, those are my mom's cabbage patch kids. Someone just stole Jimmy Vagina and she almost killed me. Is that you? Um, no, it, it wasn't. Stash, come on. I just got this stuff in. Take a peek. Oh. Yeah, well, oh, potent. Fucking A, right? Yeah. Acapulco gold. <laughs> okay, okay, how much? Well, for you... hundred. What can I get for fifty? <sighs> All right, she'll stash the cash. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, what are you guys doing? You want to, uh... Roll do or chill out? Ah, oh, that's right, man. Maybe some other time we got it. Go. You sure? Yeah. Hold on. Dude, where'd he go? He just walked off. Oh, yeah, shit! It's the fuck! Ah. Why are they running? Go! Come on! Get, just get in! Drive! 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 What? I'm not taking you anywhere. Well, I'll take off by Miss Wheaton, Carl. Oh, no, I no, told no, you no, we no. need pot. Who's this douche? Danny, just pull away. Blow. Stash, what the hell, man? This is my mom's car. The one of the back seat looks familiar. Shut <laughs> up. God, what an asshole. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, you, you pitched your tent in our spot. Your spot? We were here first. Uh, no. See this can? We put it here last year. Saved the area. Bullshit. You calling Stash a liar? You're not even gonna fish, and this spot has the best access to the creek. Oh, we're going fishing. Fishing for babes. See those hot chicks over there? 
thinking of fuck you, nerds. Stouch, let's just find another spot. No. We're camping right here. You guys did it all wrong anyway. It's way too close to the pisser. Easy, Luke. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Forget it. Let's, let's just go, guys. What? We're moving. Mighty Christian, are you boys? We'll send our sloppy seconds downstream. I cannot believe that jerk off is with us. Don't worry, man. I'll ditch him at the party. And he's like shit on your shit. I don't think we're getting rid of him. Forget about it, okay? Let's just let's have some beers and meet some girls and have a great weekend. All right, all right. All right? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> hey, Ronnie, what's up? Screw you, Danny. What I did? Speaking of miracles, it's a miracle that I'm even here today and able to apply considering most of my father's ancestors perished, writhing in their own blood and feces and urine during the great Irish potato famine. I got it, Ma. Hello. Hello. I said I got it, for Christ's sake! Don't you yell at me! Hello. Hey, Warren. Don Bishop. Oh. Hey, Don. I heard. Frank from Slippery Rock is meeting Danny Whitaker on Monday. <laughs> Good work. You're stepping up your game. Proud of you. Oh, thanks, Don. Keep it up. Uh, say hi to your mom. Will do. All right, thanks. Goodbye. Hey, Ma! Don says hello! Righteous air guitar. Oh, if you're lucky, I'll show you my Ing V Malmsteen. If you come any closer, I'll show you a can of mace. Ugh, it makes my skin crawl. I don't know if I can put up with that cretin all weekend. I'm gonna fish this year. Dude, you say that every year, you never do. Brought my pole and some bait. Better than last year when you used dynamite and almost blew my whole hand off. It was an M80 and your pinky nail grew back. It took four months. Jerks around here. Yeah, there's a lot of jerks around here running all through the woods. If I don't catch that fish, I think I may kill one of those kids. Done it before. Done it before. How long are you holding on to that torch, Statue of Liberty? Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> what are our chances with them? You? Slim to none. Me? A sure thing, probably. There it is. All of the while. I'm departing! <laughs> Welcome to Campo Grande and the party of 1984. Where'd you get this heck from? Oh, come on, bro. I'm gonna stash the trout camp pioneer. Dude, it's gonna blow away the party from the 70s, okay? Five bucks, let's go. My mom's this is how it works, boys, okay? Brew over there. Pisser over there. Chicks? Well, they're everywhere. <laughs> I got something to me. Yes, I did. Thank you. Party favors, bro. Oh, Those so shrooms. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me that, that, that. I didn't bring it up for the whole class. Woo! What's it gonna be? What do you guys think? Suck it off my shrooms. All we do is our last freaking trail camp. Last chance. <laughs> How is that a sports question? It's, it's sports and leisure. Cooking is a very popular leisurely activity. Orange wedge, s'il vous plaît. All right, there we go. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. You talk to Danny? No, but he'll be fine. He just doesn't break a leg falling off a ladder or something, you know? 
Bruce, Danny is very responsible. <laughs> What do you feed this thing? Live mice. Really? Mm. It's funny because I feed mine live beaver. Bite me. Mm. That didn't work. I love her. All fish that are under eight inches have to be thrown back. I happen to be back in the perfect measuring tool. Mm. Mm. There's a music revolution happening, and you still listen to Rick Springfield. I think he's hot. Yeah, but there's so many other good bands out there, like, uh, you two, REM, The Smiths, and you listen to shit like Jesse's Girl. Yeah. And do you want to know my favorite song by him? Don't talk to strangers. Later, jerk. <sighs> Sick of it. No, Pot doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> what does that even mean? I've tried it before and I just don't feel anything. <laughs> then you're doing it wrong, dude. No, I'm pretty sure I've done it right. Only dweebs don't smoke weed, okay? And I don't hang out with dweebs, so I'm gonna need you to get this pronto and No, I'm, 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 I'm cool. Get it, I'm fine. why we didn't work out in the first place. Really? It's funny. You know, I thought the main reason we didn't work out was me catching Eddie Goodwin's hand down your pants, but... I had a weak moment. You know, we dated for two years. You never had a weak moment with me. I happen to be back in the perfect measure. <laughs> Busted up the party. Yeah, so? Can I can I hear with you guys? My dad will rip me a new one if I get caught. We don't give a crap. Because of you, you lost hours of fishing finding a new spot. They're coming. Better keep running. Whitaker! I see you. Better keep running. Better keep running. In conclusion, I am an ideal candidate for Slippery Rock, not just because all of my relatives perish like pigs in a sty, but because when I saw two roads diverged in a wood, I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Mulligan, you are
Oh, so that's why my pee stream is a little erratic. Okay. Yeah. Oof. Oh, look at that. Come on. Ugh. Crazy. And a rubber? Told you we should have gone to that party. Hey. I was beginning to worry about you. Oh, relax. It's gonna be all right. Warren! Oh, hi, Tony. What are you doing to me? What? Are you trying to get me in trouble with your mother? No, of course not. What are you talking about? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? A healthy item. Can I see? Donuts. And you were doing so good. I'm gonna credit these to your mother's account. Thanks, Tony. So mind your own beeswax, you fat trick. Oh, bonjour, Mr. Mulligan. Oh, good morning, Miss Whitaker. You're up pretty early, aren't you? Early, please. I've already sweated with Jane Fonda and done two hours of laundry. <laughs> Jane Fonda, <laughs> I get it. Yeah, I feel the burn. <laughs> uh, I have. I'll never call that girl again. Uh, Jane's uh, new opportunity. It's pretty exciting, huh? Oh, thrilled. Hey, thanks for taking such a special interest in Danny. It meant the world to him. Uh, I'm just doing my job. And I'm really happy that you and Mr. Whitaker are okay with it. Danny wasn't 100% sure you'd be on board. Really? It's all Bruce has ever wanted. You were just kind of surprised it happened so fast. Right. But hey, when opportunity knocks... I answered the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being cute. Oh, yeah, well, he had to make a few sacrifices to get Danny in, but it's totally worth it. Come again? Uh, Bruce had to take some graveyard shifts in exchange for getting Danny into Bridgetown. Bridgetown? Yeah. Where did you think he got a job? I gotta go home. Hey, are you okay? What? Are you all right? Mike, you give a shit. <laughs> oh, lovely. That is vile. <laughs> This is Madman Mully Mulligan, and I'm about to go north on Route 8 by Black Road. I don't want to get bit by a bear, so you hit me up if you see a Kojak with a Kodak. I'm going fishing for a lying little asshole. Feeling better? Oh, um, yeah. I uh, was just going down to the uh, the water to uh, clean myself up. Mm -hmm. Come here. I don't even know your name. Oh, I'm uh, Danny. Hi, Danny. Allison. You in school? Yeah, yeah. I'm a senior at Grandview. Here I come, you little shitbird. There we are. There we are. Oh, fuck me. Whoever you are, I hope you're fucking dead. So you can 
see him? It's a ghost town. Grande shut down for good. And no sign of Danny. Probably got lucky. Stash never had a party in the woods busted by the fuzz. No, they just came to your house. Guys, we gotta lay low tonight in case they're out looking for stragglers. Where's the map, Scott? I'm not gonna find God's camp sitting on your ass. Can't. I don't feel so good. God, it's camp. If there were naked chicks out here, I could sniff them out. Shut your face. Did you bring the big bobbers this time? No. Ah. Hey, fellas. Think you can help me out here? What can we do for you? Looking for a high school boy. Like this tall, slender build, good looking. He broke a promise to me, and I'm more than a little pissed off. You make it a habit of looking for boys out here in the woods? Only ones who played me for a fool. Takes all kinds, I guess. What a dickhead. Yeah, it looks like a dick. Thanks for helping me out. Welcome. What happened? It's a party with friends and we were drinking and the cops showed up. It was dark and I took off. I think I can figure out the rest. What the hell? Where'd he come from? I found him. He fell down into our camp. So you brought him here? You know the rules. Do you really think a guy just stumbled upon us all the way out here? Yes. And he might have a concussion. Is this goddess camp? Look, he has no idea where he is. Let him rest for a while, and I will lead him out of here, blindfolded, OK? We don't have a choice, do we? And if we find one of his buddies lurking around, there's gonna be trouble. I'm never drinking again. Didn't anyone ever teach you? Need a little hair of the dog to fix. <laughs> <coughs> oh, it's all in your head. Mm -hmm. Man, I gotta take a shit. Guys, keep an eye on my rock. That sounds so gay, dude. There's not even anything left. Hey, sorry if I, like, caused a problem or anything. Oh, you didn't. My yeah. friends can be a little intense about their privacy. Yeah. Can't believe I actually found goddess camp. <laughs> We're not goddesses. We're friends who like to chill out after finals. Yeah, some of the girls have been coming to this spot for years. We don't want the word to get out and ruin it. I can, I can understand that. Most guys don't. We've been spotted a few times, and we've become the secret society of Amazonian lesbians. <laughs> and every year, some horny high schooler thinks he's Indiana Jones searching for us like we're the Lost Ark. It's sad. Well, I'm not one of them. What? Horny or high schooler? Oh, boys, 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 boys. Crap. Come here, you fish bastard! Oh, crap! Holy oh, shit! Whoa, 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 wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Did I catch that? Well, you were all lollygagging, and I caught it. You? That's my pole. I bait it, I cast it, that's my fish. Oh, bro. Anyone can throw a worm in the water. The art's in catching it. Baby's mine. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Whoa, boy, get out of here. Came here to party and have a good time, not fight over a fish, all right? Why don't you just throw it back? Let me think about that. Uh, no. Prize money will buy me a shitload of Jamaican. This is mine. Oh, Jesus, is pot the only thing you care about? Pot and pussy. Get your goose back. Ow, 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 ow. And hey, lady, take a look at my huge brown. No. Why do they hang out with him? Because he's never without weed. So they would rather get high with him than hook up with us? <laughs> Come on! Toughen up, you pussy! <laughs> hey, guess how you order steak in France? Oh, don't know, don't care. <laughs> Biftec et frites. See, this is the kind of stuff you're going to need to learn when we go to Paris. Oh, honey, look, hey, you want to know a place that's romantic, 
Niagara Falls. Yeah, those Canadians, you know, they put all their signs in French. That's not romantic. Oh, well, how about Atlantic City? Honey, very romantic. You know, uh, Bobby Vinton plays there all the time. Oh, you know, you know, roses are... Don't you dare. 24 years you have been promising me. I have clipped coupons and bought store brand. I have sold Tupperware and Mary Kay and Avon, which is a conflict of interest in case you don't know. I have skimped on nail salons and hair salons and dry cleaning to save money. You are taking me to Paris. Okay, I'm taking you to Paris. Honey, I'm just kidding around. Honey, come on, honey, come no. on. I'm taking... Hey, Bruce, Caroline. <laughs> Bonjour, Mike. You're not on duty today? No, I was. I worked a double. Hey there, Pete. I haven't seen you in a while. No, you have not. So anyway, Bruce, it's none of my business, but last night, I broke up an underage drinking party at trout camp, and Danny was there. Busted. Hey, ah, the... shut it. But Danny's not at trout camp. He's helping a friend in Pleasantville. Oh, no, he was. I saw him with my own eyes. Are you sure? Yeah, I was this close to him. I saw him. You know what, Mike? I think you must have mistook some other kid for Danny. What? Oh, yeah. Maybe I did. See you guys around. Bruce, don't get carried. Caroline, don't. I can't believe Stash is gonna win the money. Maybe someone will catch a bigger one. No way. I don't care. Let that ass wipe win. Buy all the weed he can get his douchebag hands on and smoke himself into a pot and do coma. Well, as long as you don't care. <laughs> wow. So your counselor tells you he can get you into Slippery Rock the same day your dad gets you into Bridgetown? You gotta be totally stressed out. I just don't get how people can expect you to make a decision at 18 that affects your whole life. My parents were convinced I'd become a doctor. I told my dad that I wanted to study sociology and backpack through Europe, and he threw up. Literally, mashed potatoes all over my mother. <laughs> it was classic. It's pretty funny. <laughs> what made you uh, want to study sociology? I knew I wanted to help people in some way, but I just couldn't stomach pre-med and all that blood. Did a pretty good job patching me up. Well, you're lucky it wasn't any worse. I would have left you for the bears. <laughs> just look at them. Oh. They are so flirting with us. Acting like they're not paying attention. Wait, how do you know they're acting? Because it's what they do. Don't look their way. Just make them think we're ignoring them. I am ignoring them. <laughs> Me catching that fish turned the little one on. Then why don't they come over here? Because then we think they're easy. Like, so they, they want to come over here because they're easy but they won't come over here because they don't want us to know they're easy. Ding, ding. Circle gets the square. Mm. But don't you guys worry. I'm gonna figure out a way to get them over here. Bruce, I don't think this is a good idea. Pete, let's go! So, oh, um, what's Pittsburgh like? Oh, I love it. Yeah. My place is on Southside near Jack's Bar. Carson Street is so much fun. I've only been to Pittsburgh once for like a class trip to the zoo. Well, you should check it out this summer. I'd like that, for sure. Um, I gotta figure out what I'm doing first because there's a good chance I might be working. So, Slippery Rock's out? I don't know. I mean, uh... You know, going to college would be a blast, but working at Bridgetown would mean a lot to my dad. You know, it's like a 
family tradition. Hmm. Life's a puzzle. Make sure you don't try to force pieces where they don't fit. <laughs> you know, if sociology doesn't work out, you should definitely try being a guidance counselor. <laughs> I'm getting tired. I'm trying here. I... Just, just get it up already. This has never happened to me before. I, I think I heard something. It's probably a bear or something. What? Bobby! Oh, Bobby! Bobby, thank God I'm lost. Oh, do you have any calamine lotion? I got poison ivy on my balls. Listen, Mr. M, I'm a little busy here. Oh, hi, Adrian. Listen, Mr. M, why don't you go way over there? So cool. We've been uh, hunting together in years. We're not hunting. We're hunting for Danny's ass. You guys haven't lured them over here yet? I'm never coming over here with you around. We know women are meant to be together. Maybe not this time. Bullshit. Ever since Adam and Eve and the apple and the snake and the... Wait, wait, I'm not finished. Oh my God, Danny, you're really talented. Oh, thanks, I mean, it's just a hobby. Collecting beer cans is a hobby. You should really think about becoming an artist. Yeah, it goes real well in my house. These are awesome. Have your parents seen your work? Um, you know, not really, you know, just a few things. You can't take that job at Bridgetown. Why not? Because you're an artist. Yeah, well, what kind of job is an artist anyways? I mean, you know what, I'm supposed to just give up a future and a paycheck to paint supermarket windows? That is your dad talking. Listen to me. You have something special, and not very many people can say that. Don't give that Jesus away. Jesus Christ. All right, you know what, I really appreciate the advice, but I don't need someone else telling me what the hell to do with my life right now. Hey. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's none of my business. I'm sure you'll figure it out. How are you feeling? I'm not uh, coming around. Great, because it's time for you to go. You've outstayed your welcome. You don't have to be rude, Becca. This is a girls only weekend. I get it. Great. She's fuzzy. Sorry. Mr. Whitaker? Ronnie? What are you doing out here? Uh, some of us actually came to fish. Oh, catch anything? Uh, a few rainbow, but not, nothing much. Yeah? Uh, you seen Danny? N not around here. I don't, I don't, I don't think he came. All right. Thanks, Ronnie. You guys fish at trout camp. Dorks. Yo, 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 yo. Oh my god, Steph, what the hell are you doing? Don't worry. We're all getting laid tonight. I know you were trying to help. 
I'm just having a hard time figuring out what I want to do with my life right now. Well, sometime when you're alone, I want you to close your eyes and try to picture how you imagine that future, where you live, where you work. If you see yourself in Oil City, hanging out with your friends, working at the plant, then maybe that's your answer. But if you have trouble imagining that, I think it's your heart telling you that you need more. Wow. That's deep. All right. Now let's get you lost. Again. Mr. Mulligan? Pete? What are you doing here? I'm trying to right a wrong. What are you doing here? Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. You're Mulligan? Yeah, I'm Mulligan. What the hell, buddy? You know what? How about how about you stop putting all these cockamamie ideas about college into my kid's head? You're confusing him. You ought to be thanking me. I'm trying to set your kid on the right path in life. That's his father's job. Yeah, well, no disrespect, but there's no reason Danny shouldn't do something great with his life just because you haven't done hey. shit with yours. Hey, Dad. Hey. Dad, ah. Dad, Dad. Watch it, fucko. I wrestled in junior high school. Okay, shitbag. Come on, bring it. Uh, lucky for you, my balls itch. Are you okay? Danny? Station and I hear Phil from the hill. I get a little feely. <laughs> it takes a little bit more than that for me, but you're a freak. <laughs> Could, uh, we could stay here tonight and we could figure it out in the morning. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good idea there, Todd. Need more firewood? girls were like in any real danger. Are you kidding? Those are okay. royal pythons. I mean, they're constrictors. No, they feel threatened enough, they'll absolutely kill you. So. Wait, how did you know what kind of snake it was? Wait, <coughs> you put that thing in our tent? No. You asked oh, 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 We didn't know he was, what he was gonna do, all right? Just, I, I swear. You know what, I, I believe you. That's my face. We're getting a new fucking spot next year. Danny's old man's coming this way. What? What? Uh, guys in the tent? Girls, you don't know us or Danny. <laughs> oh, 
Dash, let's jump. Not the boss of me. Dash, no way. What's up, man? It's uh, it's Pete. Pete Whitaker. We used to hang out all the time in ninth grade. Which time? Uh, my my first year, second. Oh yeah. Presto Pete? Hey, yeah, man. You can smoke a whole joint with one hit. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesus Christ. Has anybody seen my son, Danny Whitaker? Who's, uh, who's in there? That's my little sister. She's, uh, changing out of her bathing suit. I just need to check real quick. Are you crazy? All right. Sorry for interrupting, girls. Yeah, like Stash should hang out with a dork like Danny. Hey, hey, Stash. Yeah, join. Oh, that I can't Pete. Pete. Sorry, man. See you, Pete. Finally, you're back. Ouch. You can see that line right there. <laughs> I bet that hurt. It did. It did. Who's open for business? Excuse me? You're at Trout Camp. Every girl at Trout Camp is looking for some tube steak, right? Oh Shut up, Stash, you jerk. Oh, whatever, Scott. She's cross-eyed. Shut up. God, this sucks. Hey, you guys want to go for a walk? Yeah. Let's go. Where are you going? It's your loss. We've been to pit hole and back. Where's his little shit hiding? Well, maybe he's not here. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Let's call it. I'm beat. I thought I just heard my dad's voice. Out here? You do have some issues to work out. <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's pretty fucked up even for you, Becca. Think about baby Moses being sent down the Nile in a basket. That was so Moses wouldn't get killed. Exactly. So this asshole should consider himself lucky.
I know you took it, you bastard! I did not! Yo, guys. What's going on? <laughs> Dude, where the hell have you been? Long story, man. Um, what's up? He took my prize winning oh, trout! Your trout! All right, all right, all right, all right. Now he's gonna call me a liar? Listen, if you don't want to hold down another of your latest girlfriend had a set of gills, I'm gonna bury this asshole. I suggest you drop it. Dude. Dude, your dad and Pete were out here last night looking for you. Are you serious? Yeah, no, it's all we did. We gotta get out of here. Okay. Right now? now. Okay, guys, let's do it. Dude, seriously, where the hell have you been? What if I told you when I ran from the cops, I actually found goddess cam? Say you're tripping on the mushrooms. Yeah, that's what I'd say, too. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> no. No. Like, he's always been a little bit of a weird kid. Like, he's always goes, what? That's weird. No. Dude. What's the one it looked like? Oh, yeah, what the hell was your dick in a fish supposed to look like? Sometimes it's hard being a cool dude that everyone wants to hang around with. I mean, when the party's over, I'm alone. All right, look, Stash, it's our... It's not fair! I mean, I'm the one who got those girls over here, and they're the ones that got laid. And now my reputation's ruined because of one weak moment. Yeah, listen, listen. It's all right. Okay, I'm not going to tell anyone. Really? Yeah. You swear to God? I swear. All right. Now, come on, let's pack up, all right? I got this shirt on my back and the weed in my pocket. Let's Good go. man, let's go. All right. So, um, can I call you? I guess so. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> I think I have a kind of. Okay, ready? Go for it. Eight, six, seven. Eight, six, seven. Five, three, oh, nine. Good one, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> You're nine. <laughs> Listen, um, after graduation, I'm going to college. I mean, just community, but I can't have any distractions. Community, huh? Well, you better have a lot of willpower. No way. <laughs> well, what's your real number? <laughs> okay, I'll get it to you. Okay, I think I lost my time. What the hell? Looky, looky. Hey, what are you canoeing in your underpants for? <laughs> you ever find your boyfriend? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Must have had a rough night with the boys. They're coming to the woods to see something like that. Yeah, I just want to fish. Yeah. This will make us even. What the hell just happened? I think Stash just saved our asses. These little assholes aren't gonna win. 
And we have a winner. No way. No. You know what? No. You know what? This man. is ridiculous. This is... I'm going to the bar. What the fuck? Wake up, dudes. Come on, wake up. I guess that's our uh, last trap camp. <laughs> we could always be like Stash and get away from again. Oh, I'd rather lose my life than that. <laughs> but we're still gonna see each other around, right, guys? Is this where we all hug and cry? <laughs> nah, I mean, we can skip that, right? Please. How'd the barn turn out? Gross. What? Hey. Yeah. Took a drive up Oil Creek. Imagine my surprise when I saw your mother's car parked on the side of the road. Um. Um, what? You trying to think of another lie? I can't believe I trusted you! Calm down. Danny. You lied to us. Look, I'm about to graduate. All my friends are gonna do something different with their lives. That might be the last time we ever get together like that. You know, it might sound stupid to you, but it was really important to me. Well, it is stupid. You could have screwed up everything I did to get you into Bridgetown. Bruce, Bruce, stop yelling. I thought you were different than your brother. I can't begin to tell you how disappointed we are in you. Shit, did I miss it? And here we go. Mm. Thank you, Bert. Let's do something about that emphysema, huh? Let's say hi to your mom for me. <coughs> Danny, you don't know what he sacrificed. He enjoys working the night shift at his age. What's that got to do with anything? He made a deal to work those shifts in exchange for you getting hired. Now, you did not hear that from me. You don't know that, do you understand? Yeah. Just give him a break. All he wanted was to make sure that you're taken care of. Okay, get some rest. It was a long weekend. You have a big day ahead of you. It's a big day tomorrow. Technically, he can't be on the red. It's his house is ruled. You know, it's gonna lay low, let the whole thing go over. Hey, son, muffin. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go before my mom gets home. Sure. I know it was you. We would have caught it if we stayed in that spot. But, uh, nice. No problem. Stay away from the dark side. I will try. Master you. <laughs> I 
Yeah, come on in, Danny. Nice to meet you. Yes. Mr. Mulligan speaks very highly of you. Oh, well, he's, um... Thank you. <laughs> We're just having a conversation. Tell me why you think Slippery Rock University is right for you. Hey, Frank. Was I right or was I right about Danny? Hey! Come here. You look good. I bet you this is gonna go away after your mom washes it a few times. You got some forms you got to fill out. You got a safety video you got to watch. So let's get you clocked in. You gonna lean on it or you gonna run it? All right. There you go. That's you. remarkable device. The human hand helps make a living, a very good living, for millions of people in thousands of different ways. Hands work efficiently hey, shit for brains. with the tiniest instrument and with great powerful machinery to do from Ain't all bad here. I get used to the smell. I kind of like it now. Hands get into close quarters. It's real life. Hands are right you make money, action. you pay bills. Hands Shit, work I almost have enough saved up for satellite TV. I'm going to have like 50 channels. Machines and materials that are capable of destroying or mutilating them in one senseless moment. There are several specific kinds of danger in most You can always places. paint your little supermarket bunny rabbits on the side. deserves the greatest respect and understanding. I gotta watch the whole thing. Hey. What's this? Um. I'm sorry, Dan. I, um. I, I can't do this. What the hell are you talking about? You haven't been here 10 friggin' minutes. I, I had an epiphany. You had a you had a what? Like a light bulb went off in my head. I don't belong here. Look, I'm an artist. Oh Jesus Christ! Come no. on, kid. Fuck, you're an artist. No, I, you know what that no, is? No, That's I never, no, no, it's no, not, I never bullshit. knew what I wanted bullshit. to do with my life. All I never got to do is draw. Well, then you can draw good. So what? It's not going to pay the bills. Hey, hey, hey! Look, you put, put this back on your head. Put it back on your head, or I swear to God, this is going to be the sorriest day of your life. I'm sorry, Dad. He went through a lot to get me in here, and I appreciate it, okay? I really do. Danny. No, I'm sorry. I just can't. Normally, I get dinner in a movie before I get fucked, you little shit. Look, Mr. Mulligan, I'm sorry. I didn't mean Bullshit. to screw I didn't mean to screw about shit. Slippery you Rock. You get me all horned up, pretending to be interested in going to college I the was... whole time you're working here. I was interested. By the way, I'm not working here. I just quit. You mean you quit? Look, I, I mean, whether you believe it or not, you inspired me. I inspired you? Yeah. You told me I needed to start dreaming. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know what it all means, but I'll figure it out. Who knows, maybe I'll meet on East and along the way. She's a 
metaphor, you idiot. You did it, man. You're actually leaving. Yeah, send me some pictures of those LA hotties, all right? First chance I get, I come crash on your couch. Awesome. Come on. Oh, ain't that sweet. Uh, shut up, Pete. Here. Take this. Have fun. Do good. Oh, thanks, man. I don't want you to have to give head for your first month's rent, man. All right? That was cool. And then pass all the way. I think he knows in the other way. Danny? Don't forget these. <laughs> Mom, I don't really have room. Oh, they're just sandwiches. Nothing French, I promise. Just, it make me feel better knowing you have them. Okay. All right. I miss you. I miss you, too. Try to make it back for Christmas. Oh, well, actually, we're not gonna be here. <laughs> Your dad finally bought tickets. I'm going to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, Mom. I'm so happy for you. Oh. So, got everything? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Well, okay then. Dad, I never hey. need to leave. Get it. Okay? Go do what you gotta do. <sighs> Look, you, this is always your home. Yeah. You're always welcome here. All right. You have a good.
in this situation. You need help. You call me, right? Yeah. I'll do it. What are you looking at? Come on, get out of here. Go. Go. What are you doing? Packing up the last of my things. Why? You haven't heard. Danny Whitaker's enrolled in classes at an art center in Los Angeles. So Janet and I tied? No, no, no. It was the weirdest thing. One of her girls passed on a scholarship to Beaver for the Peace Corps. So you won. I won? You won. Woo! <laughs> I'm sure Janet will land on her feet. Sure she will. Woo! But you won. Thanks, Don. Way to go. Fuck you, Janet. This is Phil on the hill. This next one's for my buddy Danny, who's leaving Oil City for the City of Angels. Take care, bud. around Jack's bar. Wow, that's pretty resourceful. Yeah. So is uh, that your boyfriend in there? Billy? Yeah. No, no, he's dating my roommate. Oh. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to let you know I'm going to be leaving Oil City. Um, so. <gasps> no way! Yeah, I'm uh, assuming my car holds up. I'm uh, <laughs> going to be a struggling artist in that California sunshine next week. <gasps> Danny, that's awesome! Yeah. Congratulations! I, I uh, finished this. Yeah. Oh my God, Danny. It's beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. I love it. All right, well, I better get going. You know, next stop, Graceland, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have to stick around and let me show you around Pittsburgh. Okay. One condition. No. Oh. No more blindfolds. Okay. Yeah.
Grandpa, I would like you to meet someone. Oh, nice to meet you. 